This is a video about spoilers and leaks. We covered it last week, the fact that there was a big leak, it seems, with Commander Legends, and there are some reprints that have been confirmed. We are going to talk about the reprints specifically. We're not gonna talk about new cards that have been spoiled, but we are in this video, and this is the spoiler warning, going to talk about reprints that have been I'm gonna say quote unquote confirmed by the leaks we've seen from Commander Legends so far. That's right, there was a wave one of leaks and now there has been a second wave of leaks. The video starts right now. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fan fight series. Link in the description below. For a limited time only, if you join the Patreon at any level, you will receive a holographic Jake and Joel R. Magic logo sticker. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. I'm Joel. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel R. Magic. We're going to cover the second wave of Commander Legends leaks in this video. The reprints anyway. But if you would, do us a favor, go down there hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you like the video by the end of it. it really helps us out and it lets us know to keep making videos like this that's right it's the best way to support the channel with just the click of a button so just a couple nights ago based on when you're watching this video there were commander legends leaks which spoiled a couple new planeswalkers and then just a day or two later an additional wave of leaks which has spoiled some staples, some important commander cards. We're gonna talk about some of these cards today in this video. Just know this is just coming from a news standpoint. This isn't us trying to, you know, spoil whoever's creator cards. If you don't wanna watch a, a spoiler video, just turn the video off. Yeah, there this are is... tons of other ways you could spend your time. Exactly don't spend right. It here, exactly uh, right. Jake's the people 100%. who are going to want this information are going to they're going to get it. Yeah. So uh, that's yeah, the thing. Once this is. information has been spoiled wide, and I said that in the last one, this is something that bad actors are going to use to do bad actions, and you can protect yourself a little bit by having the same knowledge as everyone. This is the final warning. We are swapping over to some spoilers now. If you don't want to watch it, stop right now. Otherwise, we are going to go over the reprints. Like I said, the reprints that we've seen in this leak, not new cards, but reprints that have some value. And you need to be aware that they are coming along in Commander Legends so that you can do with that information how you will. Jake, I think that's enough. We're going to pop over to it. Yeah, yeah, I think you said it. Let's go. <clears throat> So we will start with Akiri Line Slinger. We have now had four of the over 10 partner commanders that we already know, and they already exist is what I'm saying. We have had four of them shown to us in that leak, that second wave that we're talking about, Akiri, Ludovic, Silas Wren, and Timna. Timna is the most expensive because it is one half of the CEDH partner commander setup. They play it for the colors, but right. we also had confirmed Silas, Akiri, Ludovic, Jake. This is this was pretty much guessed, right? We knew this. The partners were coming. Yeah, that's right. And again, we're not going over all the cards in the leak. If you want to check out the description of the video, that's a great spot to find the uh, the Reddit articles. I'm going to make sure that those are in the description of the video. We're just talking about some of these today. I, I think that you know this is. This is an interesting inclusion. I absolutely agree. These were some cards that needed a reprint. This is a great inclusion. We are four years removed from these cards having been printed. They are printed in a low run set, that being the Commander Precons. And so you start to have, you know, especially in Commander, where cards, if they are popular or they are powerful, they are going to get played a lot. You start running into a similar problem as the Walking Dead set, where scarcity and obtaining them through one means is the only way that they will go down in price what we have here is a reprint in a set that makes a lot of sense we can put the partner commanders in this set we've already confirmed officially wizards confirmed this for us in a stream that partner mechanic is going to be in this set so reprinting the ones that are already yeah, high so value let's talk about makes sense timna for a second you know this is a card that is very expensive and so the reason that we're bringing this to you is like if you were the kind of person who is on the fence you're about to buy this card um hold off yeah you know if you're if you're not in a rush if you have another edh deck to play go ahead and pump the brakes a little bit because the card is about to get a reprint so i mean you know say what you will about re uh <clears throat> spoiler videos i mean 
it's kind of important to get this information. And if you're the kind of person who's seeking it out, we're happy to bring it to you. Also, I'm sitting here realizing I haven't clicked all the way. We have File Smasher the Fierce. <laughs> I had all five of these pulled, but I had only clicked through Timna because the expensive price on that one threw me off. File Smasher the Fierce is the fifth partner that we have seen in this preview, in this leak, excuse me, of these cards. And this is another big one. This is a, a mid, you know, price $22, $20 sure. card. And it's actually, I think, banned in the one on one variant of Commander. But it's a powerful card. These partner Joel, commanders that's not even are a great. Format. Well, it is to some people, and it's got a ban list. <laughs> you can see the power level of this card in the price. We know that Timna's a little artificially overpriced for how good the card is, simply because it is a partner that represents white and black, so you can pull those colors in, especially if you play it with, say, I don't know, a blue-green partner, and suddenly you've got access to four of the most powerful colors ready to rock and roll. It's it's it makes sense that these have gotten to the price that they're at and it makes sense that they need a reprint. I mean, even look at this one. This one's not even that great and it's already a $7 card. So, these are the these are the kind of cards that we hope to see in a set like this, especially that's running partnered. One of the things it's going to be kind of wonky as far as drafting goes. And so they're trying to put as many different fail safes, you know, different partners in there. That way you can utilize all of the cards. If you start getting cut on a color, you might need to switch over. Let's move on from these now and uh, into some of the higher end here, which is, uh, you know, this is a card that I've been meaning to acquire for a long time in my collection. I do not own a copy of it. Very powerful effect. And yeah, it makes sense that it's getting a reprint. Clearly one of the chase cards. There's another, uh, another couple of chase cards that we're going to talk about in this video as well. Yeah, this is one of yeah, those cards, really man. Card. It's an artifact, you know, and artifacts can go into whatever deck they want to go into. And with the amount of commanders that have fun, powerful, cool, however you want to look at it, activated abilities, the ability to copy that ability is going to be huge. And so Rings of Bright Hearth, this is one that's made sense for a reprint for a long time because it fits into so many different commander decks. If you have a commander that fits this bill, this is a really good card. And here's another one. If you I mean, have getting to pay two for that copy is just crazy. Yeah, exactly. Right. If you have a commander deck period, there's a probably a pretty good chance that scroll rack would fit into it just based on the power level of the card itself this is one of those cards that we just got a reprint of it however it was in the list and if you know about the list you know that it is a very 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 rare uh occurrence that you get only currently out of zendikar rising set boosters so not only do you have to pull a card off the list which is about one in six packs but then you need to pull the right card off the list. Right. <laughs> so chasing this card by buying Zendikar Rising set booster boxes is, is just silly. And now we're going to have a more meaningful reprint of it popping up in Commander Legends. Again, this is one of those cards where if you were on the fence, if you were saying, you know what? It's time for me to bite the bullet. I'm going to buy a scroll rack. Pump pump the brakes. Yeah. You're good. You can you can take a break. You can pick it up, proxy it for now. Pick it up in a couple months when it's a lot cheaper than it currently is. Staff of Domination we talked about in the last leak video. We had already seen this one as part of the Wave 1 of leaks. Just wanted to touch it again because it is that $50 plus card. Good EDH. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Versatile good EDH card. If this is one that you were looking to acquire, just wait. Just wait. Commander Legends is going to come out. We're going to see how much of that product is printed. My guess is a lot. We're going to see how much of that car product is opened. My guess is a lot. You know, a lot of these cards are chase cards. Wizards of the Coast, in a very calculated manner, every time a new set comes out, they pick a certain suite of chase cards, uh, things that people are going to want to crack the product over. We're going to get Scroll Rack and Staff of Domination in these extended art foil variants. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we saw that Soul Ring is going to be in this set as well that just got a reprint. Yep. So there's a lot of crazy stuff that's going on in Commander Legends. 
Uh, Staff of Domination, another one of those cards that I do not have a copy of. I don't know how I don't have a copy of Staff of Domination. I do wish that I had bought it when it was like an $80 masterpiece, because now that masterpiece has gone way up in price, and it would have been a fantastic masterpiece to own. Um, I guess let's go ahead and talk about Three Visits. Yeah, the last one here is Three Visits, and Jake, this card reminds me a lot of Imperial Recruiter from the last time that that card was printed, because it is this, like ridiculously expensive card that has a very simple effect but a good effect and it is just a matter of scarcity that's really the only thing that's propping the price of this card up yeah and it does grab specifically a forest but i do feel like there are a lot of cards that grab specific lands for this price i do think that yes again this is scarcity i would not ever pay that price for this card <laughs> no not at all i mean the power level goes up because it does say grab a forest i mean look at the triomes look at your you know any of the forest swamp forest island any of the two color lands that have the land type as well people will play it in the cdh you know go get a certain land make sure you're hitting your colors things like that it's just an artificially propped up price this is the card that i would say is going to have the hugest percentage drop as far as cost price when the reprint hits which, uh, which one was this spoiled in was this spoiled in the second wave of spoilers? this was people saw this in the first wave i believe uh sitting in that you know group picture of all the ta- cards out on the table but it was definitely confirmed by the second wave you know it's like i said imperial recruiter style card for me where artificial yeah. scarcity is it And as soon as this card is reprinted, it is going to tank in price. Yep, I completely agree with you. Those are the cards, the meaningful reprints we think that we've seen so far that you need to be aware of have a very high likelihood of being in Commander Legends should this giant leak turn out to be true like we think it is. Let's go ahead and close the book. Thank you so much for watching. Like we said, spoilers are not something that we want. We don't want there to be leaks. But when there is a major leak, especially with a reprint set, I think it's only responsible to talk about the cards that are expensive in that set that bad actors will know are coming because they will engage with the leaks and they will use the market to their advantage based on the knowledge they have. That's right. If you like to stay up to date with this kind of news, make sure to uh, click like, click subscribe. And uh, yeah, Commander Legends is, man, it's coming out. I'm excited for it. There's a lot more cards to come. So if you do like to stay up to date on those Commander Legends leaks, Jake and Joel are magic. We're going to be covering them. And hopefully there are no more leaks. Hopefully we could just get to the point where uh, people are able to, you know, spoil the cards in, in the way that they're supposed to be spoiled. And we can just go into a normal spoiler season as we get closer. However, this product was delayed and there are a lot of people that have the product in hand. Absolutely. If you want to support us further, we have a Patreon. The link is down in the description below. We're running a limited time thing for a holographic sticker for anybody who joins at any level. Make sure you go check that out. Other than that, I'm tapped out. Yes. Everything is in the description of the video if you want to take a closer look. Until next time, tapped out. Tap.